Hello, this is Jill from Paper Daisy Crafting. Thank you for joining me today, pressing play on the video. Um, I'm an independent stamping up demo. Oh, I've got hiccups, I'm so sorry. Um, independent stamping up demo here in the UK. Um, and um, my job is to showcase product from stamping up um, to show you what you can do with them and hopefully inspire you. Um, this was the card that we're going to be making today, although I've changed it up quite a bit. This was made for a blog hop. Um, last Saturday and the theme for that was a sketch challenge so I followed the sketch but it was also to use some shimmer and shine and I ch chose to use sorry I keep hiccuping um, choose choose to use um, I'm just going to see if you can see that that glinting I hope you can um, I chose to use gold foil and um, the um, speciality papers that are in the the annual catalogue six by six rose gold and gold speciality papers which have got a little bit of a sparkle on them as, as well so we're going to do the same design with the same rain bow but we're going to change the colors up so what i decided i would do today is i would use our rainbow um shimmer paper because i thought that would give it shimmer and shine as well and also we could use rainbowish colors rather than the metallic colors that i use there um so what I've done is I took a sheet of our rainbow sh um, shimmer card, which is lovely. No shit, it doesn't come off at all. Won't get any problem with the glitter coming off. And what I've done is I've taken the rainbow die and I've cut it in four places down my strip of um, shimmer paper so that I've got green, purple, pink and yellow is the hope that, of what I've got. So I'm gonna put them together um, to make my rainbow so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with purple as the largest one I can move this around and obviously I'm going to have lots of bits left over so that I can um, make lots of these if I wanted to make several of them just with the colours in different orders I don't know why I'm suddenly hiccuping just as I came on camera I haven't had hiccups for years there we go so that's purple and pink and then a yellow one Oh, this is quite fun, isn't it? And then a little green one. Coming out, you see how easily they're coming out. I ran, only ran them through the, the die cutter once. So they do cut really easily. So there's our rainbow. So I'm gonna pop that one over there. Then we're gonna glue this down. Uh, I might turn it round a bit because I think it will fit this way. Yeah, that's fine. So a little bit of Tombow on the back here. Oh dear, I'm going to hiccup all the way through this video, sorry. That's not what you signed up for, is it? That's not what you tuned in to see, me hiccuping. Hey ho. Right. Um, I am loving this whole rainbow bundle and the papers that are free in celebration that go with it just add so much to it as well. So if you do want to buy it, um, if you buy the, buy the bundle, I think probably will earn enough to buy that get the rainbow papers for free um which would be fab um and it's such it's a big thick pack of papers let me show you can you see i've used quite a lot of them already but can you see how thick that is 48 i think 48 sheets does it say yeah 48 sheets so loads and loads of choice there i think there's 12 different patterns but they're all double-sided so you actually get um 24 different patterns to choose from so I defy you not to find some that you like they're, they're very fun papers with lots of different colors they've got loads of different colors in them if I just read you from the back there they have got Bermuda Bay, Flirty Flamingo, Granny Apple Green, Magenta Madness, Mango Melody, Misty Moonlight, Petal Pink, Pool party sea soft soft sea foam and so saffron so loads of colors to choose from there to coordinate with them I'm sure there'll be some of your favorites in there as well right there we go what did i do with my little green one here it is so like i said you can do these in any order you could place your dye a little bit differently on the paper you could get a bluey one um although the transition between the green and the purple through the blue is smaller than the transition through some of the other colors I find right there we are 
How fun is that? Absolutely love it. Yeah, gorgeous. And it's got that shimmer as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this down. Just a little bit off the top, I think. So, and the bottom. And the sides. Just a little bit off each of the sides, I think. There we go. Right, it's Sunday as I'm recording this. I'm not sure what day it's going to go out, but it's been quite a nice day. It's very cold, but it's sunny and blue skies, and I love wintry days like that. Yesterday, it was cold, but it was wet. It was raining all day, and I hate days like that. It makes me feel really miserable. Right, there's my rainbow, um, and then what I did was I took this die and cut myself a border. If I can find it, here it is. So I went across, across the colours, so I've got going from purple to yellow. I haven't got any of the green or blue, but it's not it's not long enough to do all of the colours, unfortunately. And I just need to remove some of these bits. They do they come out really easily, but you just just need a little push. It's not difficult to get them out. And I have got a brush, but I'm not sure what I've done with it. Um, my room's a bit of a muddle at the minute because it, everything got dumped in here for Christmas, and I haven't really finished tidying it back up again. So I need find time to do that right okay so that's going to go along the bottom of our card like the gold one did on the other card which i now can't find <gasps> here we go there we go so my i'm going to have a rainbow pattern and a rainbow rainbow um and i've just got to think what i'm going to do for the for the um the back of the frame around this am i going to use gold again am i going to use um i'm not sure might use granny apple green actually because i haven't used very much of that in the rainbow and it might just pick it out the other colors are picked up again in this but the granny apple green isn't so that would then tie that over so let me look in my scraps box which i've got here this is my bright scrap box and see whether I've got a little bit of granny apple green. That will do, but that will do a card blank. So I don't really want to use that. Have I got a big enough piece of granny apple green going in here? I don't think I have. No, but some very... Oh, what was that? It just caught sight of a little bit. No, I don't think that's big enough, is it? Oh, it might be. Oh, it is. Oh, there we go. Excellent. I don't like to cut into new sheets unless I absolutely have to. So I am going to do my method of placing it where I want the border to be, like so, and then marking where the, the border will be on the other side and down below, and then I can just trim that off to size. So another very quick and easy little card to make this. You'll be, if you've watched me for a while, you'll know by now that I don't really do very complicated projects. I'm a very simple girl, not only because they're easier, or sometimes they're not easier, sometimes they're deceptively hard, even though they look simple. Um, but actually, I like the look of simple cards. I'm not really one for loads of stuff on cards. I quite like the less is more philosophy, really. Right, so that's going to mount on there. Well, that's quite nice, isn't it, on the granny apple green? Now, something obviously isn't straight because... I'm putting that on straight and it's not straight there. So I don't know whether it's my rainbow or my... Let's see if we can work it out from the grid paper. Let's put that on the grid paper there. Yeah, I think it's my rainbow that's very, very... Oh, maybe not. Or is it this that's out? Sometimes you just can't work it out. Oh, it's that that's out, I think. Look, if I put that there. So I just need to trim this so that it's got a straight edge so that edge looks okay what about this edge Just trim a little bit I think it's this edge that's doing it sometimes oh didn't want to cut that looks all right that looks all right oh I don't know 
Oh, no, that doesn't look right. There we go. Maybe it's that side. I hope this is still going to be okay. Just sometimes you'd get it slight. You can see how slight that is. Tiny little bit, but it can make it just all look ski whiff. Right. And then that should mount onto there a bit better now. That's a bit better. Like so. There we go. So let's just take a bit of Tombow. I do like to get things right. So my, my um, I'm a bit OCD about cards and everything being right. Um, I don't like to see uneven borders or wonky borders or really offends my sense of neatness, I suppose. <coughs> There we go. I'm making the borders a little bit smaller. I'm going to trim off a little bit at the bottom here. And I'm, to do that, I'm just going to bring in my little mini cutter because it's sometimes easier to manipulate with this little mini cutter than it is with my big trimmer. And I'm sorry to those of you that don't have one. Um, the fact that we don't sell them anymore is not helpful. Right, okay, I need a piece of cardstock to mount my, to make my card blank. Just grab a bit of basic white cardstock. Here we go. So how are you all enjoying the new catalogue? Have you all got your copies? If you haven't, let me know and I can send you one if you're in the UK. I'm sorry, um, I can send them to people in Europe if you're in any of our European markets. But sadly, I don't have them in any other languages, so I have only got the English copy. So um, you might be better trying to find somebody that's got a copy in your language. Um, I'm not allowed to send them to America, Canada any of those markets I'm afraid so you need to find a demo in your own locality to send you one there we go right so this is going to mount onto here like so um, oh I'm doing it with a cocktail stick now I have got my spreader out there though could have used a spreader. There we go. Let's mount that, try and get that in the middle and straight. There we go. And then just glue this down actually I'm putting glue along the whole lot and I'm not going to need the whole lot but just so that I can move it to where I want it I think I need it this way so there oh this is fun it's quite a fun card isn't it it's exactly the same design as the other one except I'm just using different papers so and you can show you what can happen when you do use different products so just trim that off what different looks you can get. There we go. How fun is that? Now on this one, I used a, a, a greeting from this set, the Rainbow of Happiness set, which said, make you, you make me happy. What I'd like to do, I think, oh no, actually I will use that. I wasn't going to use the same one, but actually I will. And I've lost my little scrap of black so little scrap of basic black card embossing buddy sadly we don't sell anymore but available on amazon stamp and versamark there we go you make me happy so putting it quite near the bottom so hopefully I only need to trim one side of it. And then white embossing powder. Had a couple of inquiries about embossing powders just recently. I know it is a shame that we now only sell them in threes, which makes them quite expensive. But I have to say I've experimented with a lot of embossing powders in my time. And these are absolutely the best ones that I've ever had. So um, you pay your money, you take your choice. If you don't think you'll be able to tell the difference, then by all means buy cheaper ones. But for me, 
um, the Stamping Up ones. They're fine. I think it's because they're finer powders um, that they they just are more detailed, and the, the metallics are much more shiny. I bought some gold from another company, and it was really dull. It wasn't nice at all. Right, I'm just going to put my heat gun on. <laughs> Just watching for the magic. And we are nearly there. We are done. There we go. And then we're just going to trim that down. I'm going to use my little chopper again. I do use like this was this was once a, um, a, a celebration freebie that you got it when you joined. I wish they'd do something like that again. So I think we'd get hundreds of joiners because it's such a fun little product and it's so useful. I use mine all the time. We were allowed to buy them after the celebration. The demos were allowed to buy them, which is how I managed to get one. Right, and then this is going to go on dimensionals just over here. You make me happy. And that is my bright colour. So it's the same, exactly like I said, that's not what I want. This is what I want. Um, exactly the same design, but just shows you what can happen when you use slightly different products. Um and how you can change the look of a project. Um, I wonder if you have a favourite. I quite liked the um, the gold one. It was much more subdued than I would think about rainbows, but of course you can do rainbows, like I said, in any colour scheme that you like. I'm quite tempted to do one that's all blues, different shades of blue or something like that. See what that looks like. Right, there we go. I'm putting it over to the side because this was where it was on the sketch. So I just want to stay to the same design. My, If I was choosing myself, I probably would centre it, to be fair, perfectly honest. But anyway, there's my cards. There's the gold one, the shimmer and sparkle, and this one with the shimmer paper. Hope you enjoyed that project. Please click any of the links below if you want to buy any of the products that I've used today. And um, you can click through to my shop and in my... Uh, and if you click through to my blog, there's a link, um, you can find my monthly shopping code and you'll get a free gift if you use that code when you order with me. So looking forward to hearing from you. Please let me know what you think of my cards and I'll be back again very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.